Another day, another story. Welcome to our YouTube channel, where we embark on a journey through history to explore the remarkable achievements of influential figures. In this episode, we delve into the reign of Pharaoh Samarket, an enigmatic ruler of ancient Egypt who left a lasting impact on the country's early dynastic period. Samarket is an ancient Egyptian pharaoh who ruled during the first dynasty of Egypt. He is believed to have reigned around the 29th century BCE, although the exact dating and length of his reign are still debated among Egyptologists. Samarket's reign is known from various archaeological findings, including his tomb in Abydos and inscriptions on stone vessels. He is considered one of the earlier pharaohs and is believed to have played a significant role in the consolidation of royal power and the establishment of the centralized state in ancient Egypt. The parentage of pharaoh Samarket is not definitively known. As with many pharaohs from the early dynastic period of ancient Egypt, information about their lineage can be scarce and subject to uncertainty. There are no contemporary records or inscriptions that specifically mention the names of Samarket's parents. In some later sources, particularly in the Turin King List, a document that lists the names of ancient Egyptian pharaohs, a pharaoh named Enegib, is listed as the predecessor of Samarket. It has been suggested by some scholars that Enegib could have been Samarket's father, but this is a speculative connection and not universally accepted. Samarket's name is often associated with the Sarek, a rectangular emblem with his name written inside. The Sarek is considered one of the earliest examples of a royal emblem used by pharaohs in ancient Egypt. It's worth noting that information about ancient Egyptian pharaohs can sometimes be limited and subject to ongoing research and reinterpretation as new evidence is discovered. The name, Samarket, is transliterated from the ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs, and its exact pronunciation in the ancient Egyptian language is not known with certainty. The name Samarket is a modern reconstruction based on the hieroglyphs found in inscriptions and depictions. In the ancient Egyptian writing system, hieroglyphs often represented both consonants and vowels. The hieroglyphs that make up the name Samarket are a set of three signs. A B, a reed, and a decorative rectangle known as a Sarek. The B hieroglyph, pronounced S-M-A, represents the consonants S and M, while the reed hieroglyph, pronounced R, represents the consonant R. The Sarek, in this case, serves as an enclosure for the royal name and indicates its royal significance. Since the ancient Egyptian writing system did not record short vowels, the exact pronunciation of Samarket's name remains uncertain. Different scholars have proposed various possibilities, but one common suggestion is Sma Rai Kht, or Sma Ir Ket, where the Rai, or Ir, represents a possible vowel sound between the consonants M and K. However, it's important to note that these are educated reconstructions, and the precise pronunciation may differ from these suggestions. The meaning of Samarket's name is also subject to interpretation, and scholars have put forward different theories regarding its possible meanings. Here are a few interpretations that have been proposed. Samarket has been suggested to mean, he who unites two powers. This interpretation is based on breaking down the name into its constituent elements. Sem, meaning, to unite, or, to join, and, or, and, ket, which could represent the concepts of, two powers, or, two dominions. This interpretation reflects the idea of the pharaoh as the ruler who brings together the upper and lower Egypt, symbolizing the unification of the country. Another proposed meaning is, thoughtful friend, or, companion. In this interpretation, the sem element could signify companion or friend, while the or and ket elements may represent thoughtful or considerate qualities. Some scholars have suggested that Samarket's name could be associated with the deity Seth. The sem element could be linked to the god Seth, who was often depicted as a donkey or represented by a similar hieroglyph. This interpretation would give Samarket's name a potential connection to the cult of Seth. The sources for the name of Pharaoh Samarket primarily come from ancient Egyptian inscriptions, artifacts, and historical documents. Here are some of the key sources. Inscriptions and depictions. The name Samarket appears on several ancient Egyptian artifacts, including stone vessels, seals, and other objects. These inscriptions often include the pharaoh's name written inside a rectangular emblem called a Sarek, which is associated with Samarket and other early pharaohs. Abydos Tomb 
Samerket's tomb, known as Tomb U in Abydos, provides important evidence about his name. The tomb contains inscriptions and reliefs that mention Samerket's name, as well as his titles and epithets. These inscriptions help in establishing his identity and association with the tomb. Turin King List The Turin King List is an ancient Egyptian papyrus that lists the names of numerous pharaohs. It includes the name of Samerket, which is written as, Samerket, or, Samerk, in the list. Although the Turin King List is fragmentary and damaged, it provides valuable information about the names and sequence of pharaohs in early Egyptian history. Historical and Egyptological Studies Egyptologists and historians have extensively studied ancient Egyptian texts, including royal annals, temple inscriptions, and other documents, to gather information about pharaohs such as Samerket. These studies involve analyzing the hieroglyphic writings, deciphering the language, and piecing together the available evidence to reconstruct the history and names of ancient Egyptian rulers. Pharaoh Samerket unraveling the achievements of an ancient Egyptian ruler. Samerket ascended to the throne during the first dynasty of Egypt, approximately in the 29th century BCE. Despite the challenges of limited historical records, archaeologists and Egyptologists have uncovered fascinating details about his reign and contributions. One of Samerket's notable achievements lies in the realm of monumental architecture. His tomb, located in Abydos, is a testament to his prestigious status as a pharaoh. Adorned with intricate inscriptions and reliefs, the tomb provides invaluable insights into the religious and funerary practices of the time. Its construction showcases the early development of royal mortuary complexes, setting the foundation for the grand tombs of future pharaohs. Samerket's reign also witnessed advancements in craftsmanship and artistic expression. Exquisite stone vessels and seals bearing his name have been discovered, showcasing the mastery of ancient Egyptian artisans. These artifacts serve as a testament to the flourishing artistic culture of the period, with intricate carvings and intricate designs that demonstrate the aesthetic sensibilities of Samerket's time. Samerket's most iconic symbol is the Sarek, a rectangular emblem in which his name was inscribed. This emblem, consisting of a stylized palace facade, represented the divine authority of the pharaoh. It was an early precursor to the later use of cartouches to denote the names of Egyptian kings. Samerket's adoption and popularization of the Sarek emblem played a crucial role in the development of the royal iconography, highlighting his contribution to the evolution of ancient Egyptian royal symbols. Beyond his cultural and artistic contributions, Samerket's reign also witnessed important strides in political and administrative spheres. As a ruler during the early stages of Egypt's centralized state, he played a pivotal role in consolidating royal power and establishing the foundations of the Egyptian monarchy. His reign marked a significant step in the process of unifying Upper and Lower Egypt, setting the stage for the later prosperous and powerful Egyptian dynasties. In the broader context of ancient Egyptian history, Samerket's achievements laid the groundwork for the subsequent pharaohs, who built upon his legacy and expanded the empire. His contributions to the cultural, artistic, and political landscape of ancient Egypt serve as a testament to his vision and leadership during a critical period of the nation's development. Pharaoh Samerket, a ruler of great significance in the early dynastic period of ancient Egypt, left an indelible mark on the country's history. Through his monumental tomb, artistic patronage, introduction of the Sarek emblem, and efforts in centralizing power, Samerket's achievements contributed to the flourishing of Egyptian civilization. Samerket's tomb, known as Tomb U, is located in the ancient necropolis of Abydos in Upper Egypt. It is one of the earliest royal tombs from the first dynasty of Egypt and provides valuable insights into the funerary practices and beliefs of the time. The tomb itself is relatively modest in comparison to later, more elaborate royal tombs. It consists of a rectangular structure built with mud brick walls and measures approximately 7 meters long and 4 meters wide. The tomb's entrance is located on the northern side. Inside the tomb, archaeologists discovered a burial chamber containing a shallow rectangular pit that served as the burial place for Pharaoh Samerket. The burial pit was lined with a wooden structure and covered with a roof made of branches. Unfortunately, Samerket's mummy was not found within the tomb likely due to ancient tomb robberies or disturbances over the centuries.
The walls of the tomb were decorated with reliefs and inscriptions, providing valuable information about the religious and funerary beliefs of the early dynastic period. The scenes depicted include images of offerings, various ritual activities, and representations of gods associated with the afterlife. These depictions offer insights into the religious practices and beliefs of Samarket's time. The tomb also contained a number of artifacts and offerings, including stone vessels and pottery, which were placed in the tomb to accompany the pharaoh in the afterlife. These objects reflect the high level of craftsmanship and artistic skill of the period. Although Samarket's tomb is not as grand or well-preserved as some of the later royal tombs in Egypt, it remains a significant archaeological discovery. It provides important clues about the early development of royal mortuary complexes and the religious beliefs and practices of ancient Egypt during the First Dynasty. Excavations and studies of Samarket's tomb continue to shed light on the ancient funerary customs and the early stages of royal burials, contributing to our understanding of ancient Egyptian civilization and the evolution of royal tombs in Egypt. Samarket's tomb, known as Tomb U, was discovered by a team of archaeologists led by Flinders Petrie in 1899. Flinders Petrie was a renowned British Egyptologist who made significant contributions to the field of Egyptology and conducted extensive excavations in Egypt during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. During his excavations in Abydos, Petrie came across a series of tombs, including Tomb U, which he attributed to early dynastic pharaohs. The discovery of Tomb U and its identification as Samarket's tomb added valuable knowledge to the understanding of the First Dynasty of Egypt and the early periods of pharaonic rule. Since its discovery, Tomb U has been the subject of further archaeological investigations and studies to uncover additional details about its construction, contents, and the historical context of Samarket's reign. The tomb continues to be a significant site for researchers seeking to deepen their understanding of ancient Egyptian burial practices and the cultural and religious aspects of the early dynastic period. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey through the life and achievements of Pharaoh Samarket. Stay tuned for more fascinating episodes. Thanks for watching.